Yeah, see who we need. Yeah, from the kissing simulator. Oh yeah. All right, the hunk, the uncle who works for Nintendo. Let's do it. Sensei uses sound, play with headphones for best experience. Yeah, ahead of you. You're 11 years old. What's your best friend's name? Um, my best friend's name is Sarah. Your best friend Sarah has invited you to a sleepover at her house this weekend. Yay! You've been friends since first grade, so asking your mom is basically only a formality. Why are they both highlighted? On Friday night, you're home for only a few hours, long enough to pack, get in a fight with your younger sister, pack some more, and watch some TV. Extensive use of sound, indeed. At six sharp, you're standing on the sidewalk outside Sarah's house while your mom idles in her car nearby. She leans out the window to you. You behave yourself, okay? She says, as always. I'll be at work, but if anything happens, you call me. Yes, mom. Okay, mom. I'm a yes, mom, little girl. That's what I was. <laughs> I'll pick you up tomorrow at three, she says. Again, as usual. But then she pauses, looking up at the sky, which has been overcast throughout the day. If you play outside, she adds, be careful. It's probably gonna rain. Kiss mom goodbye. Yay! Wave bye. Yeah. After you part, your mom drives down the street, disappearing around the corner. You turn back to Sarah's house, and the lights up are glowing warmly. You can see Sarah waving at you from her bedroom on the second floor. It is 6 p.m. Hell yes, it is. Not. Sarah's mom meets you just inside. Hello, she says. Dinner will be ready in just a few minutes, but you can drop stuff off in the den. You and Sarah are camping out there tonight. Cool. You drop your sleeping over, an overnight bag in the corner of the den, and pause to take a look around. Behind the couch, a grandfather clock is ticking softly. Through a set of patio doors on the far side of the room, you can see the sky is just as gray as it is when your mom left. Framed pictures line the walls, and over the dark fireplace hang a monstrous pair of antlers from the bucket that Sarah's dad shot years ago. Good job, Sarah's dad. You killed that deer. And of course, there's a big screen type A. Sometimes it makes you uncomfortable how much nicer Sarah's house is than yours. Anyway, dead, dead carcasses in the house usually make me feel, like, inferior. Yeah, I'm ranting about that. <laughs> You'd like a sleepover for Sarah? I'm sure you would, brony man. You drop your sleeping and overnight bags in the corner of the den and then pause to take a look around. Behind the couch, a grandfather clock is ticking softly. Though a set of patio doors on the far side of the room, you can see the sky is just as gray as it was when your mom left. Frame pictures line the walls and over the dark fireplace hang some monstrous pair of antlers from a buck that Sarah's dad shot years ago. And of course, there is the big screen TV. Hmm... Sarah enters the room while you weren't paying attention, and she now stands in the doorway, smiling expectantly. Are you ready for dinner, she asks. Yeah! Dinner passes quickly. Tonight's meal is spaghetti and meatballs, one of Sarah's favorite meals. And her mother points out while piling a heaping onto your plate. Sarah's father cracks a beer. I want a beer. Says, says little me. A jovial interrogates you about how much trouble you and Sarah are getting into at school. Dessert in heaping bowls of ice cream drizzled in chocolate sauce. You can't even finish yours. Wait, that wasn't beer at all. It was a glass of lemonade. Why would you even think it was beer? Sarah's father doesn't drink alcohol. You're quite certain of that fact now that you remember it. Well, whatever. Oh. Darn it, I should have flipped the TV before. Father clocks the den chimes. You go along now. Oh. Ding. You go along now, says Sarah's mom, smiling from the side of her table. We'll clean here up in here. Let's go get the TV ready, says Sarah. The two of you leave the dining room, head upstairs. Whoa. What a weird picture. Sarah's room is immense. Immensely black. You stay in the den because the TV is larger there, but there is a sizable one here, flush with the wall opposite of the full-size bed. We'll take the 64 dance first. Says Sarah, heading, yeah, Sarah has an adult voice, apparently, setting down towards her TV and opening the entertainment cabinet. It is her prerogative, of course. She gets to choose what you play first, usually. But as Sarah begins unhooking the cords from the Nintendo 64 off the TV, you catch sight of other things she has in there. Sarah's like that. 
all the major stuff in old SNES, a PlayStation, and a Dreamcast, but some other things too. Things you don't really recognize. A large black box with a green light headlights, a smaller purple one, a strange white and yellow tower with what looks like gloves resting on hooks on either side, a compact white cone. Wait, wait, wait. Who's that one? It's like gloves resting. Those look good. Yes, they do. There, looks at the clutter in the cabinet. Oh, yeah, she says. They're pretty cool. I can't show them to you, though. They're still in secret. I promised my uncle. So I remember her uncle. The uncle who works for Nintendo. And he bursts through the door in a Kool-Aid man suit. Says, oh, yeah, I work for Nintendo. <laughs> it was full of black flesh. Sarah is into some dark arts. In the corner, the grandfather clock is ticking softly. Through a set, nearby set of patio doors, you can see it's getting quite dark. Framed pictures line the wall. Sarah's parked in front of the large TV playing something on the Nintendo 64. Now, I remember last time I clicked these things in here, it just went back to this, the main thing. So let's try to, hmm, seven. Still seven. Frame pictures. Walk around the perimeter of the den, inspecting the pictures. Most of them are family portraits from years past. Sarah cradled lovingly between her mother and father. Or er, any one of these three of their own. Happy tiny family. Four pictures of Sarah's uncle. You don't find any, not one. The only pictures here are of Sarah and her parents. You don't know why they make you feel uneasy. Time passes. Oh, I didn't get to see other stuff. What time is it? 7.30. Dun 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 dun. Think about Sarah's uncle began with Mew. What? <laughs> you didn't believe her at first. When Sarah came to school one day and you told her she had finally caught Mew. Perfect, you said. So you pulled out her Game Boy and showed you. There was Mew. 151st Pokemon available only to players at promotional events somehow unlocked on Sarah's game. It's really strong, she said. It kills every enemy in one hit. Sarah demonstrated a disclaim at recess when you and some other friends linked Game Boys to do battle. You were the first one down. No one else got in a single hit on Sarah's Mew. You asked how Sarah managed to get it. A few days everyone had quit playing Pokemon at recess. The lure faded. <laughs> oh, my uncle got a job at Nintendo, said Sarah. You were walking home together past one of the construction crew. Sarah still lived next door to you at the time. There had been a storm not too long ago. Trees were down all over town. Buildings had collapsed. I guess this is important somehow. You were standing up at an intersection with Sarah as the truck rumbled by, loaded up with ragged tree trunks. What a bad storm. Hmm. Sarah still lived next door to you at the time. Wait, this couldn't have been too long ago. Did When did Sarah move? There was something nice about being neighbors. Memories. He also got me this new Game Boy, said Sarah, pulling out one of her pocket. You hadn't noticed it earlier, but yes, Sarah now had a sleek new Game Boy color. Until today, she had one of the old, big, gray bricks like you. This one's a special edition, said Sarah. Isn't it cool? You agreed. You snapped out of your reflections. Chuck chimes. What time is it? Eight? Eight. Mm -hmm. Let's talk. What should I talk about? Hmm. Let's talk about storms, games. Let's talk about games. Talk about how much you like games in hour passes. Where's this library? You mark. What do you like about them? Hmm. What do you like about them? That's a good question. Challenge to be different sort of person. The challenge solving puzzles and stuff. In here are the stories. Hmm. Challenges and stuff. That's a nice feeling, but something in her voice tells you to think about something else. Do you think it's weird to play games? She asked suddenly, and then before you can say anything else. I mean, like, it's weird for a girl to play games? Um... No? <laughs> hmm... Uh, I guess I do it. So play video games. Why don't you play girl games? And then you can see boys would be. I have three Pokemon with you. Go stop playing video games. I could be on a game. Now, what if your best friend was like Andrew or something? What would happen then? And you were playing as a dude. I don't know. Would we be making fun of girls? I guess. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't stand out for you.
I love my thoughts. Clock chimes. Sarah, whose mother bustles into the room, holding a large, dramatic bowl filled with popcorn on her arm. Always hoping for chips. Sorry, Sarah's mom. Boop. How are you kids doing? She asks. Good, says Sarah, her eyes not moving from the television. Hope you're having fun, says Sarah's mom. Here's some popcorn, extra butter. It's on the floor by Sarah. Almost immediately, Sarah is shoveling popcorn into her mouth. Meanwhile, her mother smiles first at her. Jesus Christ, this girl's a little shellfish brat, isn't she? <laughs> There's sodas in the kitchen if you're getting thirsty, she says, and some pizza from the other night if you get hungry. Thank you. <laughs> she looks at Sarah. Your father's gone to bed. I'll be there soon myself. I want you to keep quiet, all right? Yes, Mom, Sarah said tiredly. Oh, and before I forget, she asked, your uncle called. He suddenly had some business here in town tomorrow, but he's driving in early. He'll be around around midnight. So for the first time, Sarah stops playing her game, stops eating power, and tries to look at her mother. Okay. I want you two to welcome him in. He'll be very tired and very hungry, so offer him something to eat before he goes to bed. Okay. Whoop. Whoops. Sorry. Oh, no. What did I do? Yeah, we're fine. Sorry. That's screen capture. Uh, first time Sarah stops playing. Blah, 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 blah. Good night, kids. Said with that, she was gone. I want to go get a, uh, get a soda, damn it. Kitchen. Like, she knows anything about the, the visit. Kitchen. Fridge. Soda. Let's see, kitchen. Go back to the den. Tom has it. In 9.30, Jesus. Okay, watch Sarah play. I want to know what she's playing. You're feeling anxious, but you apparently are showing it. Apparently, Sarah looks at you and bites her lip. Watch this, she says. On screen, the game's main character is in a car on a crowded street in what looks like a virtual New York City. Sarah rubs up and begins moving down pedestrians, giggling. Jesus. Okay. You don't think this is very funny, but to Sarah, it's hilarious. After a while, she stops cars and waits and ambulance appears and one of the paramedics exits. said she beats them to death with a pizza bat. <sighs> wow. I don't know how your uncle will feel about this. Ben's raining outside. Oh, he's gonna look like some monster from Nintendo. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I might get a soda. Man. I feel like you might have to go to the bathroom. We'll go to the bathroom. Use the shower. Are you done here? You're not sure why you look there. Fluffy towels. Use the toilet. Go back. Go back to the den. 10.30. Where is the wick? Hmm. That uncle's visit. Hmm. So when's your uncle coming? Business. He does. Work for Nintendo. Okay. Frowning but not looking away from the TV screen. He's really important there. I don't have a lot of business here. Why else would my uncle be coming? Asked the dumbest questions in the world. Oh, it's cool if I finally get to meet him. I think you'd like him. What sort of work does your uncle do? Pauses the game towards her visibly agitated. How should I know? I don't work for them. Right now, she's not quite yelling, but you think if you keep pressing the subject, she might. Sorry, I was just curious. <laughs> yeah, Sarah. <laughs> Freaking 11 year olds, you know? Her uncle made the game. Yeah, for Nintendo made that game for children. Um, hmm. Let me think. Let's see. Let's talk about... Let me think about myself. Let me think about Mew. You got your own Mew eventually. Another friend had a Game Shark, which you borrowed one. You didn't need a Game Shark to get Mew. You spent the entire night unlocking every Pokemon you couldn't obtain in your copy game or hadn't traded for yet, including Mew. It didn't hit KO most enemies. It was incredibly weak, and you shamefully cheated the game further to make it strong enough. It even looked different from Sarah's. Your Mew was small, even cute standing up there with its round, cheerful eyes, but when Sarah's had wiped out everyone at school, it looked completely different. Compact, snarling, fierce. <laughs> you asked her why. What? She said. That hadn't been here in the den. Oh, that thing? Been a while since anyone talked about Pokemon. Well, my uncle got me a special edition Mew, first of all. She said, smirking a little, but not looking away from the PlayStation game she was playing. That's why mine looked really different. Second of all, mine can hit one hit KO because it's a real Mew. Dad moved by then, but how long was it after the first storm that she got the Mew? You can't remember. It's a real Mew. You asked what she meant by that. Just what I said, Sarah replied. You cheated and got a fake Mew, so of course there'd be problems, glitches and junk. You felt your cheeks redden. 
But not me, Sarah said again. I got a real Mew, and only me. My brother was so jealous. Sarah's brother, what about him? Why doesn't remembering that comment make you feel uneasy? Snap out of your reflections. We haven't seen anything about this guy's, her brother, so I'm assuming he's dead or boarding school or something like that. Um, have some popcorn. Buttery and delicious. Mwah. Time is it? 11? Still need to stay awake. Um, hmm. Talk to Sarah. Ask her about the storm. It's being as bad as the one we had before? I like the sound of the wind. I don't know what you're talking about, Sarah. You don't remember? Something, apparently. Go get Pep. I have Mountain Dew. Oh, I don't have any Mountain Dew. I just have strawberry soda and some Pepsi in the fridge. Storm. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, took out trees. If it was important, I'm sure I would have remembered it, she said. He falls silent. You don't remember? Let's try that. Hmm. Okay. I guess she just really won't remember. Talk about school. We started to discuss class a few days ago when the teacher publicly chastised the classmate. You mutually disliked. The clock chimes. Grandfather clock chimes the hour. Suddenly looks up from the 64. Are we playing a PlayStation game? It's time. Jesus Christmas. That's him, says Sarah, standing up. I should let him in. She leaves the den. You realize you could fall, but part of you feels like being scarce for a bit. Um. No, we want to know what this guy's like. We're going to follow. The knocking continues persistently as he follows Sarah to the front of the house. That sound. Outside a pebbled glass to the front window, you can see a tall, dark shadow. Sarah goes to the door, undoes the deadbolt, and cracks it open. You can come in, she says to whoever stands out there on the porch and looks over her shoulder at you. Sorry, she says. For we can ask what there is to say about the door slams open. <laughs> Hello, child. Oh my god. Um, Undefined error. Hello, child. The uncle who works for Nintendo. Um, Endings Undefined error. Okay. Try to run, but it may turn out of the game. A game of hide and seek. What? Okay, so apparently there are a few different endings. I definitely want to find out more about these endings, so give me a minute. I'm just going to go to get a uh, soda. Uh, let me give you some... I'll be right back in just a minute. We're going to continue this game. This is actually very interesting and very, very weird. Okay, um, hang on a second. I wish I had some music to play for you guys. Pardon me. Okay, I'm back. Got myself some strawberry soda. Okay. Right there. All right, let's restart from seven in the den. One quick question then. Was your friend's father drinking beer at the dinner? I'm not sure what I saw. Um, I wonder if anything important happened. Seven. Okay. 
<laughs> Spartan, hello! Welcome back to the stream. How's it going? Talk to Sarah. Let's talk about games. How much you like games? Just to be a different sort of person. Nice feeling. What's up? Yeah, I know what you mean. They say the same stuff about me. The games, yeah, pay for the run. Beat you on a game. Oh, Sarah, but yes, it's my brother's game. She gets in Zelda, you're lying, girl. Some play games. He beat the level. But I should stand up for you. Uh, well, there's many reasons to think of it, and I just want to be able to eat your friend and play video games and not have people to hear about it. Oh. <laughs> then, thank you. So it says Nintendo leaving you alone with your thoughts. I got thoughts. Alright, what is it? Eight? We could pass an hour talking about that. Happy New Year, Spartan! Happy New Year, Taco Stay Scared. Welcome back to the stream. You're not new to this stream. Don't be ridiculous. I know you. Let's say Practice playing something on Nintendo 64. Well, what is she playing this time? You play this one, she says. Oh, I get to play a game. Yay, finally. So like, it would be like a selfish jerk. This game you play as a warrior saving a magical kingdom of talking animals from an old wizard who barfs up blood every time he talks. It's gross, but it's also sort of funny. You're pretty good at this one, says Sarah, and then adds her voice a little lower. I never actually beat it. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. I wonder if this is actually supposed to be something I should be able to recognize. There's a warrior seeing a magical kingdom of talking animals. Not unless it's a weird version of Animal Crossing. <laughs> they didn't have that for Nintendo 64. Well, not an American version. Sarah's mother bustles in her room. Popcorn. Having fun. Mother smiles. Thirsty. So pizza. Thank you. See you guys. Yes, mom. Around about midnight. You're tired and very hungry, so I'll to something to eat before he goes to bed. Good night, kids! I asked about my uncle's visit. It's pretty far away, so just ride. How did you know? You would have an uncle. Drop the conversation in silence. Okay. Uh. Mm hmm. What is this? This is called the Uncle Who Works at Nintendo. It's up there. Um, let's see. More, it's more about the uncle's visit. Why is your uncle's fine? Sort of business. What does Nintendo do here? Sorry, I was just curious. It's very, very strange uncle. <laughs> Um, think about Sarah's uncle. Began with Mew. Oh, we're gonna re read all this again. Okay. If it helps, get rid of no one else. Lair had faded. Construction crew, bad storm, time. Ow. Of your reflections. Hmm. Let's talk to Sarah some more. Ask her if she thinks the storm will be bad. You don't remember? Well, I thought about it till tonight. Should have remembered about it. You bring up the subject of the new Pokemon games through rumors you read on the internet when you're supposed to be working in the computer lab at school. Sarah meticulously debunks or confirms everything you have to say, all based on, of course, what her uncle has told her. Clock chimes. Bam, raining outside. It's 10. <laughs> Let's see, do I need to use the bathroom or anything? Let's go to the kitchen and get something to drink. Mm, let's have some milk this time. Back to the den. Like, might have to use the bathroom? Alright. Go on, girl. Use your toilet. Loom closet. Lush, filthy towers, washcloths, shower. Pretty pristine. Back to the den. Clock chimes. So they have them. Let's have some popcorn. Buttery delicious. Have some more buttery delicious. Buttery delicious. How many more times can I do this? Hmm. 
remember my own view. <laughs> Look different, fierce, why? Bun here, blah, blah, blah. Get the real Mew. So jealous. Something about her brother. Thought he worked for Nintendo. Hey. Respond. Not sure what she said. I believe your uncle works for Nintendo. Oh, you think you've finally done it. Sarah stands up, fist clenched at her side, mouth twisted horribly as she struggles to say something. You watch as she takes a step forward and lends your teeth and wait. Monster pushes it back on the hard wood floor, cracking your skull against the carpet. Ooh. Take the initiative to throw a punch before it. Take a moment to be dazed. You lie there, expecting another punch or kick, but you're surprised nothing happens. Slowly you sit up to see Sarah standing there, arms stiff, still stiff at her sides, breathing heavily. She's close to crying. <laughs> Throw a punch. Hmm, well the uncle's about to arrive. Throw a punch. You shove yourself off the floor and send your fist into Sarah's stomach. For a moment, you're shocked at what you've done as she stands there grasping in her PJs, but you suddenly expression, I hate you. You hear something, or think you hear something, someone shouting, and then you've fallen flat on the floor. For a moment, you don't think you can get up. Your whole body feels heavy. Did she hit you? I hate you, says Sarah. Leave me alone. You finally manage to sit up as she turns back to her game. Collect yourself. <laughs> I'm okay. Let's talk with Sarah. School. Sarah's too involved in the game. She seems to be ignoring you. Hmm. It's time. It's time. Stop being weird. <laughs> and Tim says, Sarah, I should go let him in. At least it's done, you realized you could follow a bit. No, we're not doing that again. Let me sketch. Um, go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom, lock the door behind you. Or at least this could have been a bathroom. The walls are bare and white, and there's no sink or toilet. But there are some odd featureless white boxes that could stand for a shower. Slip in the plain white box that is about the size of a shower. Front of the house, you can hear front door slam open. Child. Anything except I switch in child. The rain. No, not just the rain, but the voice in the back of your head like coming for you, child. Like something you can't even begin to describe. Though you lock the door behind you, hear it open easily. Um Hold your breath. Not sure how you know something is out there because you don't exactly. Child. You hear it moving, but you know it's there, and you know it's stopped. Poor, poor child. Right outside your hiding spot. It opens the door, even though you immediately realize it doesn't have any hands. You'll play forever in the dark, child. Oh my god. Um. Uncle works for Nintendo. Run. Try to hide, but the uncle who works for Nintendo found you. Anyway, you met the uncle who works for Nintendo. Alright, so what a... Definitely weird here. Decide you don't feel like spending the night. Call your mom and ask to be taken home. Be sure you have enough time for your ride to show up. Oh dear. So that's another ending. All right, um, hmm. Start at seven at the den. Not sure what I saw. Um, let's go in the kitchen. Is there a phone in here? Dad are still here. Table hasn't been cleared and there's, we're gonna try and give a call to get the hell out of here. Mm hmm. Let's see. In fact, you realize they aren't moving at all. 
They sit there completely still like mannequins. Sarah's dad is holding up his glass of lemonade as if getting ready to take a drink. Sarah's mom has her hand, head turned up, her mouth slightly open as if she froze immediately after you and Sarah left the dining room. Let's attempt to talk to them. Hello? They don't respond, they rumble. Thunder rumbles outside, they don't seem to notice. These are you, okay? They aren't even blinking. Passed into the kitchen. Um. Something in the fridge. Dining room is behind you. Let's go to the dining room. You aren't going back that way, you just aren't. Back to the den. Let's um, talk to about her parents. <sighs> I think that's something I missed before. What the hell is this? It's okay. Parents are sitting in the dining room, so they're not even moving. This isn't funny, Joe. Blame me. I think I want to go home. They're just being weird. Give me a second. Play a little. Wait. Stand alone in the den, listening to the wind outside and the chiming of the grandfather clock. You listen to a conversation Sarah must be having with her parents, but you don't hear anything. After a while, Sarah comes back. We find a me. Mom says she's gonna bring us popcorn. But I saw them. And one more thing she says while she resumes her spot in front of Nintendo. Thanks for sending me out there. Mom made me clean her. Help her clean after all. Special company. What? My uncle's visiting. Okay. Time passes. I guess we're not leaving at this point. Call your mom. Here we go. Passing hesitantly through the now empty kitchen, dining room, you enter the kitchen, phone sits on a cow. Wait. I wanna go home. Yes, mom, please. <laughs> of course, she says, I'll call the sitter. She'll probably be there in an hour now. I really have to go. John tries to enter the den. So he doesn't even look away from the TV as you come in. Quietly begin gathering your things. What? Sarah stands up, not even bothering to pause the game. No, you can't leave. It's almost time. Almost time for what? You can't go. Sarah's ignoring your question. There's so much stuff I have planned for tonight. I was going to let you play the next Zelda game. That's not even out yet. You even say anything. She's already running upstairs. Sarah continually runs up and down the stairs, bringing you games and consoles while you pack up your things. Every time she presents something new, you ignore her or brush it off with an uncaring shrug. Please, Sarah says. Just stay. Stay the night, please. <laughs> no, you say with your night bag slung over one shoulder. You march to the front of the door and exit into the night. As you walk to the sitter's car, you can see your little sister in the backseat, still in her pajamas. The sitter and a high school girl who lives down the street from you looks incredibly unhappy to be here, but you think you'll be able to handle her. As you climb into her car, you cast one last look over the shoulder back to the house. Sarah's standing in the doorway, totally still, not screaming, not crying, not doing much of anything. The car begins to pull away from the house. As you watch, you see your parents appear in the doorway behind her. Her parents wave. <laughs> Without acknowledging you, Sarah's parents lay their hands on her shoulders. You recognize in their, their movements something unnatural, something stiff and mechanical. They turn Sarah back into the house, the door closing just as everything slides out of view. When you turn around in your seat to look out the back window, you can't even see the house's lights. Sarah doesn't show up at school on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. On Thursday, you ask your teacher, Mr. Scott, where Sarah is. He blinks at you confusedly. Oh, he says eventually, Sarah, well, I'm surprised she didn't tell you about this, but she and her family moved away. The house is empty when you ride your bike that afternoon. This is really interesting. It somehow seems even larger without anything or anyone in it. Tail side stands in the front yard. Go home. You never see Sarah again, and eventually, as the years pass, you forget about her entirely. Well, that's one way to end the game. Um, okay, so what are options four and five? Yeah. Some things you remember don't match what you see. Learn what you can. Ask questions. Have a serious talk. Don't be mean, but still, get out of there. Okay, so that's something. Uh, what's five? 
Some things you remember don't match what you see. Learn what you can. Ask questions. Have a serious but still get out of there. And then make what might be the worst decision ever. What are we going to kill Sarah? Hmm. That's very strange. Do I want to start from... Hmm. Definitely want to continue this game. This is very, very intriguing. Um, start from... Start from seven again. Not sure what I saw. Let's go into the kitchen. They aren't moving at all. Attempt to talk to them. Are you okay? Isn't funny. Back into the den. So about our parents. They're just being weird. You don't hear anything. Let's maybe clean up for special. Your uncle's going to come for a visit. Yep, time passes. We're in the den. Hmm. Let's go in the kitchen. Head back to the den. There's no popcorn or anything. Who is in the <laughs> Where's her mother? Okay. Um, let's talk to Sarah. She's ignoring me. Oh, apparently I'm mean. Be fun. Place by the floor by Sarah. Set in the fridge. Nod silently. Midnight. It goes to bed. Okay. Yep, same stuff here. Okay, um, have to click. Um, yeah, talk to Sarah. Ask about parents. How are your parents doing? What are you talking about? They're fine, I guess. How's your mom? I thought I saw your dad drinking a beer. My dad doesn't drink, she says. I know, that's why it was so weird because I looked again as a glass of lemonade. Are you sure you saw that? Totally weird, huh? Maybe you're losing it. So much for that. Oh, I didn't mean to talk about school again. Darn it. Um, pins raining outside. Talk to Sarah. Ask about the parents. Um. Hmm. No, oh, just doing the same thing. Hmm, okay, talking about mother and stuff. What do I think which? What do I think which, brony man? Sorry about that. <laughs> so she goes back to playing her game, thinking about your mom. Um, time is showing here. Eh, we're gonna end up running into the uncle again. Frame pictures. Don't find anything about the uncle. Talk to Sarah. Um, let's talk about games. She doesn't want to talk about games. Great, Sarah. Thanks. You're gonna have me killed. You're so nice, Sarah. Best friend in the world. Call your mom. Call mom. It's really weird here. Call the center, tell her pick up. Sit tight. <sighs> Call her now. She yeah, will be safe. <laughs> Clock is chiming. Sarah's standing in the middle of the den, her hands at her sides, an odd smile on her face. You're too late. He's here. Oh my god. <laughs> That's him. She let him in. Scares for a bit. Go to the kitchen. This passage does not exist. Kitchen. Does not exist. Kitchen. Oh god. 
linen closet. At least we didn't do the closet before. I think Bach, the size of a linen closet. And the house here, the door side. Child, coming for you, child. Easily opens. Close your eyes. Oh, child, poor child. Yeah, we totally died again. Oh, child, I'm so hungry. Can't run, child. That is so awesome that they do it like that. You'll play forever in the dark. No, child. 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 I don't know why it scrolls down. <laughs> that works for Nintendo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's start from the beginning. Ashley. Asking your mom. Never confirmed this, but you suspect the babysitter may charge extra when there are two kids. You sometimes feel like staying somewhere else is the only way you can help out. Set the window to you. Okay, mom. About three. Play outside, be careful. Probably gonna rain. Kiss mom goodbye. Be nice to mom. <laughs> Miss you. I don't you're not gonna kill me, mama. My street is disappearing. You turn back to Ashley's house. The lights are inside and glowing warmly. Ashley waving at you. Head inside. 6 p.m. Dun dun dun. Don't be ready in just a few minutes. Stuff stuff at the den. Okay. Of course, there's the big screen TV. Makes you uncomfortable. How nicer is Ashley's stuff is yours. It's a big screen TV. So, it's, yeah. Anyway. Ready for dinner? Sure. Father cracks a beer. Julie interrogates you about how much trouble you and Ashley are getting into school. Why do you think it's beer? Well, whatever. Father clocks in the den chimes. Go on now. Get ready for TV. Do your reading diary upstairs. TV, but there is a sizable one, flash with wall opposite full size bed. Nintendo 64 down. Prerogative usually, choose what to play. Okay, so she did bring a Nintendo 64 down, but before she was playing a PlayStation also. So that's another weird inconsistency. Okay, SNES, PlayStation, blah, blah, blah. What are these? They're pretty cool. I can't show them to you though. They're still in secret. Uncle Who works for Nintendo. Sticking softly through a set of patio doors. Oh man, what to do? Okay, so it's seven. We're at the beginning. Okay, so it doesn't seem like it makes much sense to go back to the beginning. Talk to Ashley. Um, we go to the kitchen. We need to do that thing about Ashley's parents. Talk to talk to them. Hi. Turn to the den. Back to the den. Let's talk to Ash. Talk, tell Ash about the parents. Eh. Mm. We didn't do play a little. Um. Mom has you sit and play a game. Diddy Kong Racing. But it's not a game you're familiar with. Colors Little Wolf said relaxing. Ashley comes back. She's gonna be this good thing. She resumes her spot in front of Nintendo. My uncle's coming to visit. Cool. All right, time passes. Let me just end up giving up on this for a little bit, unless, hmm, you know what, let me just Google. Uncle who looks for Nintendo. Uncle who works for Nintendo endings. All six, oh, there's six endings. Of course there's six endings. Five options, six endings. Why wouldn't there be six endings? Okay, um, all in safe data will be lost. Okay, remember your friend's Mew. Okay, so let's talk to Ashley about games. Oh, darn it, I think I picked the wrong option. Sort of portion, be the heroes. What's up? Uh, what else in there? What's in? Just one of them. This should. What you mean? 
Yep, 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 yep. Don't want to trade Pokemon with you. Oh no, you're not moving. So you're gonna sit like you? You cheated. You don't play video games. Should have stood up for you, but I should. Shouldn't treat people like that. So I'm your friend. Oh. Then, thank you. Your thoughts. You're in the den. Okay, so we need the Mew thing. It's the floor by Ashley. Thank you. Be nice. Good night. Good night, kids. Um, when was the Mew thing? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Anything besides Mew. Um. That's about the uncle. Till she gets angry. Don't hit about the uncle. Ask about the uncle. Is your uncle coming? This is here. Don't believe your uncle. Voluntary flinch. Take a breather. Okay. Oh. I missed some dialogue that was different. Darn it. Okay, so we didn't hit her. Good. We're not supposed to hit her. <laughs> that would be fun. Hmm. Hit him. Talk to your friend about the storm. Snoring. The Nintendo is sitting on the floor. Talk to Ashley. Ask about parents. No, we shouldn't have done the parents thing. Darn it. I think that ruined everything for this one. Hmm. Okay. Um. School. Things reading outside. Um. Talk to Ashley. Parents. So there's nothing. Mm hmm. Think about Ashley's uncle. Oh, this. Okay, that's where it is. Okay. Mew. Oh, you agreed. Snap out of reflections. Oh, darn it. No, because I probably didn't. Darn it. One else got it. Managed to get it. Construction clue. The dent. There it is. That's the storm. Okay. Oh, darn it. I completely wasted time. Lock chimes. Talk to Ashley. So it was about his last one. I think it'll be about his last storm. But no one remembers the storm, she says. It was big. It took down trees. But I remember the storm, Ashley. What's going on here, girl? Ashley shakes her head. No, no, you don't understand. Please, I'm not messing with you. But this is important. But this, this is different. Something's different. He said no one would remember the storm. Who? He came out of the storm. I was home alone, Ashley begins, her eyes growing distant. Mom works at home. Dad was dad was out at the bar. Listen. Answer the door when knocking started. He said he was lost and hungry. He said he could help me. That all I had to do was promise to feed him. Feed me. What is that? <laughs> it's my uncle, Ashley says. Or that's what he told me to call him. I don't really know. I don't know who he is. It, it is. What did he do? He changed things. He said he could make things happen any way I wanted them to. That I would always be the best. That guys at school would get so weird about me playing games anymore as long as, as, long as I fed him. Why'd you have to feed him? Ooh. Oh dear. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Um. I want to go home. It's like a voice, something, and you hear exactly. I'm my mom. Three rings. Want to go home? Sitting silently on the floor as you come in. You aren't leaving. You are leaving, aren't you? 
really mean. I should have known it was different. You were remembering too much. Hacking stuff. Your uncle's so powerful. Please, says Ashley, please don't go. I've never, never not fed him. And if I don't, I'm not sure what will happen. So you just want me to go get eaten or whatever? Continue packing in silence. Why could you hear him? She asks, but it doesn't seem like she expects you to answer. Both lapsed in an awkward silence. Eventually, car honks outside. Get up to leave. Ashley watered from the fireplace into the night. You walk closer. You see this little sister in the back seat, still in your PJs. So you climb the car. You cast one look over the shoulder. Front door is closed. You suddenly can't remember if you did that yourself. As the sitter pulls away from the house, you stare out the windows at Ash's house. The lights blurred and magnified by the rain. Eventually, all slides out of view. You find out about next afternoon about the fire. It started in the den, said the papers where there was known to be a fireplace. Apparently, it was left smoldering in the night. There were no survivors. Arson is suspected since an accelerant would have helped the flames. Blah, blah, blah. One day after you ride bike, check it out. Yeah. Part of the house still stands, walls beams blackened by the flames, yellow caution tapes have been looped around the outside, and the rubble hasn't yet been totally cleared out by the city. You decided to investigate. Section floor has either mostly burned away or fallen through. But standing in what used to be the den, you looked up to the hole that would have been Ashley's room. From glass and charred drywall crunched beneath your feet until you stepped on something that isn't glass. You looked down there, mess it was a Game Boy. It's a Game Boy color, not all scuffed or damaged. In the back is a single cartridge, a copy of Pokemon Blue. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. That sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> Plus, I looked at the FAQ. That's the first step. <laughs> yep, I read that. Okay. You read the ruined house, hop back on your bike, backpedaling. Your mom doesn't have the work tonight since she knows that you're taking recent events hard. She promised to take you and your little sister to movies. Don't you think about Ashley at all? End. Okay. So basically, the last ending is the exact same as the fourth one, except to pick up the Game Boy. I'm gonna do that real quick. Not sure what I saw. Like, it matters. Okay. Um, think about Ashley's uncle. We need to get the Muse stuff. The Game Boy one hit. No one. Lure had faded. Yep. Construction. Storm at the time. Blah, blah, blah. Ew. You agreed. Snap out of your reflection. Um, we don't have to worry about the Mew. Uh, what was it else that we had to read? Never finished Mew. Make sure you click on the red text. Okay. Talk to your friend about games. Option oh, ups. Okay. Talk to Ashley about games. She like games. Stories. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Horrible things you shouldn't say to people, of course. Keep going. You cheated. Sorry, I don't stand up to you. But I should, because they're jerks. Thank you. Leave you alone with your thoughts. Dan, okay, is this the point where we talk about, hmm. Ask about the uncle. Hmm, no, never mind. we need to ask about the uncle first. Um, it's time, we don't get to talk about the uncle till. Let's go to the den. Hmm. Frame pictures. Pictures of Ashley Uncle, don't know. Just make me feel easy. Talk about the nope. Nothing about our uncle there. Okay, um let's go to the kitchen. Go back to the den. They're both deserted. Clock chimes. Talking about the uncle. Thank you. Midnight. Midnight kids. Okay. Ask about the uncle's visit. Rosie, come in. I see my friend. And blah, 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 blah. I'm noisy. And nosy. The uncle works for Nintendo. Voluntary flesh. So her head has remembering something. Never mind. Just never mind. Take a breather. Okay. Talk to Ashley. Storm movie was bad. You remember that storm? The tree is down. I do. No one remember it? Who said that? So the bar, you had a brother, didn't you? Remember him too? He saw it first, the flash from his bedroom window. It's one who answered the door. 
And sometimes, as you know, if he had answered the door instead of me, would he have eventually done what I did? What'd you do? We got into a fight, Ashley explains. It was a fight over how I was getting all the cool stuff from my uncle. I think he was starting to remember, like you, Ashley chews her lip. He said that I couldn't appreciate all this since I was a girl. So, what happened? She won't look at you. I told my uncle to get rid of him, and he did. I want to go home. Bad impression, no. Calling my mama. Mama! Get me out of here! I want to go home. Please, mom, please. Turn to the den. This joke play is really mean. Begin packing things. Continue packing in silence. Car honks. Go into the night. Back to the house. Burning. Eventually, fire count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob's your uncle. I want to take your Game Boy and see what happens. Take it. You look from side to side as if anyone might actually be watching you pick up the Game Boy and flick the power switch. If you click through the Pokemon intro screen, you find that there's no same game on the card. It looks like a brand new copy. Turn off the Game Boy and stuff in your pocket, return home. Your mom is standing in the kitchen when you arrive, doing dishes, and your little sister is watching some annoying cartoon. Remember to take a bath and get dressed before seven, mom calls. Remember, you're fairly certain she never told you to do that in the first place. You walk into the kitchen, dropping your backpack on the linoleum floor. Why do I need to do all that? Silly, she says. Your mom turns from the sink to you and smile, and your throat tightens when you see how glassy and empty your eyes are. Don't you remember? Your uncle's coming over for dinner to celebrate his new job. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. What's this? Repetition. Oh. Okay, so we're at the... It looks like this is the secret end. It's a new game. Okay. Repetition with a difference. It's not the time for running. We Go where you're not wanted. Go where you've been told you can't go. Hmm. Okay. For the sake of brevity, because I want to get on to other games. Not that I don't want to discover this stuff on my own, but I swear. Turning a game. Have unlocked all the ending. At least ending five. Oh, okay. All right, so we're going to go play the game as normal until we get to where the uncle arrives and we're going into the kitchen. Okay, that's as far as I read. Scroll up so I can't read more of that. Go to the den. Not sure what I saw. Okay, um, hmm. Happy New Year, Donnie! Hello, sorry for being rude and not seeing the chat. I was reading too much of the FAQ. Got the Game Boy. Yes, I did, Brony. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas and all that. Had a great holiday. Yeah, I have. It's, it was pretty good. Happy New Year to you. Thank you, well, thank you very much for saying so. Okay, um, yeah, we just need to waste time. Let's go to the bathroom. Use the toilet. You have to go right now. Go back then. Back to the den. Um, watch Ashley play. Play co-op. Yeah, sure. Level two. Mm-hmm. Watch Ashley play. You play this one. Um, Barf of Blood. Already did that one. Popcorn! Thank you. Uncle's gonna be here around midnight. Uh, let's see what time. Nine. Okay, so we've got a few hours. Watch Ashley play. Screen link is in the Temple of Time. Jesus Christ, lady. I'm running through games like crazy. Mm, it's just a kitchen. Mm hmm. On the screen, Link is in the Temple of Time. Ashley had the corner of the map and walking back and forth a few seconds. Found this the other day, says Ashley, running her avatar through the huge room with an arched ceiling. What are you going to do with this? You asked. Ashley doesn't say anything, but smiles as Link reaches the end of the room and stops in front of the shining gold light of the force. Wow. Link saunters forward and grabs the Triforce. Triumph music and lengthy cutscene plays as Link poses with the Master Sword. Which now glows gold. Now the game gets really cool, says Ashley. You have unlimited bombs and arrows and can go into the past as an adult. Oh dear. <laughs> Begins raining. So we got another two hours. Okay. Play some more games. It's game Mario Kart. Ashley wins the first track pretty easily and you start to feel like this is a mistake. She is too competitive, but you actually win during the second track. 
What's you get for playing as Bowser? <laughs> this is the best. I think Yoshi would disagree right now, you say, pointing at the victory screen. That's what I always say when I play Yoshi. Mm -hmm. Uh, watch Ashley play. Michael will be here soon. Should we get stuff ready for him? Let's just play one more game. She replies, you pick. Been ruffling through pile of cartridges by the TV. You realize Ashley's staring at you. You turn her back. You okay? I was just thinking. She, you shrug and pick up a cartridge from the pile. How about this one? Ashley nods. So you plug it in, start the concert here behind you. Hey. Thanks for spending the night. Together a good while. It's time. Is your uncle here? I guess so. I'm oh, scared. Let's go to the kitchen. Go anyway. Go to the kitchen. No chow. This isn't that much of a. It's not a chow. <laughs> Ignore this uncle. Fall silent for the moment. It's grown weeks since you haven't been feeding it. Take out the Game Boy. Oh! Okay. From your pocket, you pull Ashley's Game Boy color. The uncle's somewhere behind the half textured wall, grumbling to itself. Turn on the Game Boy. Whoa. Start. Let's send the Pokedex. This isn't time to use that. Pokemon? This isn't time to use that. Um, item. Carrying a Game Boy color. <laughs> you. You hope this works. Hang on. Save. Probably not a good idea to save when these are getting so messed up. Option. It's fast. Okay. Um, item. Right, right, right. Okay, so you. You hope this works. It came to you after you picked up Ashley's Game Boy, still weak from the night of the sleepover, and in that moment you had an understanding of what it was and what it did. How many times have you not made it through the night? How many of your friends have gone before you would come after you? How many have taken the Game Boy? It promised you what it promised everyone every time. The newest games, the best consoles, the best strategies, the most talent, and knowledge of tricks and secrets. Run no one by Nintendo! Right. <laughs> A family who could and would provide these things. You could play well, play forever. You would always be the best, so as long as you've had it. And you had an idea. It did not like your first request, but it was hungry, and it had no other choice, so you are here. Um. Yeah. I hope this works. Soft stretch. Option. Fast text. Oh dear. You're 11 years old. What's your best friend's name? Best friend Ashley. Sleep over your friend's first grade. Behave yourself. Pick you up at the work. Oh my god. Um. Play outside. Oh, I was. In the corner, the grandfather clock is ticking softly through a nearby set of patio doors. You can see it in the dark and rainy. Ashley is parked in front of the large TV playing something on the Nintendo 64. Suddenly, she jumps as if you scared her by entering when you did and turns to look at you. What is that? She asks. Um. Is... I know about the uncle. She blinks and easily at you. I don't know what. Listen, you mean, what are you talking about? I used to come back here. <laughs> this is so cool! I love this! Come here too. What's happening? Starving into death. As she shakes, she... As she shakes, she... As she shakes, she had... In disbelief, what are you here for? What are you doing? The rain outside increases in tempo. Or stop sounding exactly right rain. Get back to save you. Whoa! Actually takes a step towards you. How did you do that? It's weak. It changed so much, Ashley said. Whoa! Child, I am your god. <laughs> really. But all the others, says Ashley, they're gone. Wow. Whoa! That was neat. Okay. <laughs> it's neat. All at once. It's slow it takes years, maybe even forever. Whoa. This is so cool! Oh my god! <laughs> so many of my parents, my brother. I don't deserve it. Why did you come back for me? Ash just crying. Why did you come back for me? So I think we can stop this. Whoa! 
Things are starting to change. The uncle that think this is really hurts my eyes. Oh, you guys probably can't even read that. Things are starting to change. The uncle, the thing that calls itself an uncle, is either on the verge of death or making final gamble to stop either of you from leaving. Ashley's still crying. Take Ashley's hand if we don't do... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Stop. Options are take Ashley's hand. If we don't do something soon, we'll be stuck. Or it's okay. Um, everything else is like, I'm so hungry! Man, man, man! No, don't do this. I took her hand. Ashley looks up at you. You really came back for me? You really think we'd do this? Options are yes, or it wants us to hate each other, and I won't do that. With a sad smile, she nods, okay. Oh, what's he saying? I can't even read what it's saying that he says here. It's a bunch of gobbledygook. Let's go. Pokédex, Pokémon, item, I can't click anything except action. exit. Bad expression. No, no, no. Oh, whoa. I'm not clicking any of those. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, if you don't understand, games offered me something I didn't add before. They gave me a sense of place, a sense of who I am, who I could be. I'm sorry for not believing you, hurting, do not listen. Listen, but this isn't who we have to be. It doesn't control us. It's not our only choice. You are my friend. No more games. What? God, we can have more games. My friend and I'm here for you. How did you do that to a poor Game Boy? Oh, it's worth Nintendo. Continue, new game. No, that's enough of that. Um, okay. So again, that was the Uncle Who Works for Nintendo. I'm very glad to have watched, played that one. That was very, very interesting. It looks like there's a little bit more to play to that, but yeah. Bonus Easter eggs. Um, apparently, if you complete ending five during your next playthrough, you'll be able to enter the kitchen earlier in the night to discover your friend's parents. Oh, I did that before I unlocked it. If you choose girls' names for your friends, you like a few new dialogues since both girls don't play games. Okay, so we did everything. All right. Very good. <laughs> okay, next game.